Fox 6 weather forecast. Hey there, happy Thursday to you, or as we called it a little earlier, Thursday. All right, we're heading toward the end of the week. The weekend is upon us soon and with it some changes on the way. So we'll talk about what to expect. But first, we've got to get through the last two days of the week and we'll notice some differences which we're already doing right now, as seen from our sky cam, our water sky cam, we like to call it. Notice uh, not looking too hazy out here. Pretty clear view across to the Harbor Bridge. A few clouds out there in the sky, but overall a pretty tranquil morning here. 620 your time right now and taking a look at temperatures across the coastal bend. Yeah, still chilly, but we're slowly seeing a warm up across the coastal bend and that will be more apparent during the next couple of afternoons when we really feel pretty hot, especially with more humidity. So a lot to unpack here. We'll start out with the cooler temperatures inland 50 right now in Beeville, 52 for George West, 55 for Orange Grove, 55 in or 56. I should say in Alice, 57 in Robstown. We eventually warm up as you make your way closer to the coast. Those Gulf of Mexico waters really do a good job of insulating temperatures where it's 65 for both NAS Corpus Christi and and poor day at this hour, but heading through the next couple of hours. One thing you'll really notice today. We got a little breezier on Wednesday. OK, gusts will be more apparent this afternoon, gusting anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour. That starts around the lunch hour and carries us into the evening hours and the wind direction. We've been doing a northeast in the morning, east in the afternoon kind of pattern. We're changing that up. We are going to notice a southeast and eventually a south wind through the later parts of today, and that is definitely going to help us warm up and feel a lot warmer. So as you go for that dog walk this morning, we're acknowledging our star here. This is Rusty. Beautiful eyes on this handsome boy. As we go for the walk today, Rusty, here's what you can expect. Our temperatures will get to the 70s before we even hit the lunch hour. So 73 looking like the number first there by about 11 a.m. Yes, we'll have more clouds today, but remember that wind direction eventually coming out of the south is going to make for warmer conditions as we head on into the afternoon. And on top of that, a little more humidity on the way that increases through the weekend. Can you guess when our next cold front is? Yeah, it's going to happen Saturday evening and that will really drop things down in a big way. So right now the timing looks like this. It looks to be a quick mover hitting our northern neighborhoods around uh, 2 to 3 p.m. and clearing the coastline by 5 to 6 p.m. That's when our winds will shift out of the northwest and we'll start to feel that cooler, drier air slowly making its way into the coastal bend. Now rain chances have not looked good with this front. They still don't, but they're getting a little bit better. I'm not going to hold my breath on that, but we've got better rain chances coming for the middle part of next week. So that's good news, especially as our rainfall deficit. It's on its way to three inches behind for the year, so we could really use some rainfall. But big temperature changes are on the way. Saturday afternoon highs in those middle 80s. By Monday morning when the kids are going back to school, they'll have to bundle up lows in the 30s. That's a drop of about 40 to 45 degrees. So here's a seven day forecast, a warm up before a big tumble in temperatures.